Okay, so for this video lecture, we consider solving a differential equation. Okay, particularly, we shall consider solving a pair of differential equations involving an independent variable t and two dependent variables x and y. To solve this equation simultaneously, we take the Laplace transform of each equation obtaining two simultaneous algebraic equations. So from which we obtain y as, a function, as the inverse uh, Laplace of f sub 1 of s, which gives us the function f sub 1 of t. And then for x, the inverse of f sub 2 of s, which is a function of f sub 2 of t. Okay, so let's consider this uh, two differential equation subject to uh, initial condition x of, uh, x of 0 equals 1, or when t is equal to 0, the value of x is equal to 1. And then for y, that is equal to 0. Okay, we take the Laplace transform of each equation. Okay, so originally this is uh, we only have x prime here equals to y originally. So we take the Laplace transform of each uh, term and then apply the definition of derivatives here. No? S, so Laplace of x prime is Laplace of x minus x of 0 equals to Laplace of y. So we just copy the one in the right hand side and then we substitute the initial condition x of 0 is 1. Okay. So this will be your first equation. So this will be your first equation. And then for the second equation, uh, originally um, this is uh, y prime equals 8x, no? so Laplace of y prime equals 8 Laplace of x. And then the plus of y prime is s Laplace of y minus y of 0. Okay, and then we copy the function in the right hand side. And then we substitute the initial condition, your uh, y of 0 is equal to 0. Okay. So, we continue. Okay. Uh, S Laplace of y equals 8 Laplace of x. That will be your equation 2. Or Laplace of x is equal to S over 8 Laplace of y. Okay, we substitute equation 3 in 1. The, la, your equation 3 is Laplace of x equals s over 8 Laplace of y. And then your equation 1 is s Laplace of x minus 1 equals 2 Laplace of y. Then we obtain the following. Okay, so this is your Laplace, Laplace of x. Okay, and then the next thing is to simplify. Okay, all those terms with the plus of y should be transposed in the left hand side. Okay, and then transpose those terms without the plus of y on, on the right hand side. Okay, and that uh, simplifies to the plus of y equals 8 over s squared minus s squared minus 16. Now you can um, okay. Uh, Actually, we have a direct uh, function for 8 over s squared minus 16, which is actually the, the, the inverse no, of the, the hyperbolic time function. So you'll take, so square root of 16 here, it will be 4. And then, uh, uh, if this is 4, then you have uh, 4 here times 2, so you have it. Uh, 2 times hyperbolic sine of 40. And um, okay, uh, note that this is just the same as in exponential. This is e to the hyperbolic sine of 40 is 
e to the 4t minus e to the negative 4t divided by 2. Okay, so you just cancel out uh, 2. So the uh, equivalent answer will, in terms of exponential no, will be e to the 4t minus e to the negative uh, 4t. Or you can, you can uh, obtain the exponential solution when you uh, use partial fraction because s squared minus 16 can, can, 16 minus can, uh, uh, can be written as s minus 4 times s, s plus 5. Then apply partial fraction to get the solution in exponential. Okay? And then for okay. Okay, so for uh, equa uh, equation four and three, okay, we have Laplace of y equals eight over s squared minus sixteen, and then your three is Okay, s over 8 la plus of y. And then we substitute, okay, we uh, obtain uh, la plus of x equals 8, s over 8 la plus of y. La plus of y is 8 over s squared minus 16. So 8 will cancel out. And that gives you s squared minus, minus 16. No? So using partial fraction, you can factor out s squared minus 16, which is s plus 4 times s minus 4, okay, or s over s squared minus 16 is actually the inverse Laplace of hyperbolic cosine of 40, okay, and in terms of exponential, if you recall, hyperbolic cosine of 40 is the same as e to the 40 um, uh, plus e to the negative 40 divided by 2, okay, so you, using partial fraction, you you can obtain uh, exponential function no? so one half e to the 40 plus one half e to the negative 40 as your uh, other other form okay, of answer. <laughs>